hello guys welcome back to first choice crafts so today guys i'm gonna be making a little unique card for fall um but it's gonna be a happy birthday card and so i came up with this idea because i said um i just want to incorporate fall along with happy birthday for those who have okay and so this is how that's gonna go on there so now let's just go ahead and place this on here first I've always said I wanted people to have you know if the birthday fall in the fall have a nice little thing for the fall so this will be perfect for that let's line it up right okay guys so we have that down that's the front of our card then also we're going to cut these dies out the happy birthday and the pumpkin dies. So for the sake of the video, I've already used my die cut to cut out the happy birthday. This is how it came out. And some of the pumpkin dies, love it. And I used the metallic paper by um, scrapbook.com. Their metallic paper with the little, it has little uh, stars on it. So that's pretty. I used that metallic paper. Then now I'll take my cuddle bug and I'm going to cut out the pumpkin um, thing. Now guys, I had some cardstock left. Through. I had, I cut out some cardstock from a packaging that I got. Your packaging for different items that you get, you can always use that. Cut it out and use it in your uh, crafts. Um, so this was from some packaging and I just thought this would fit nice for a pumpkin. So I'm going to be using this.
Now I've already cut out some of the other pumpkins. Just wanted to do this large one on camera just to show you that they work well in any die cut you have. But today I'm going to be using the cuddle book. I'm just going to show you how easy it cuts out. And here's your pumpkin. Look at that. And it's also embossed. So you see the lines in the pumpkin. So I like that card, that little packaging that I got some cardstock from. That was cool. So always look at your packaging. If you get crafts, if you buy crafts or your little um, stationary packaging, you can you always reuse that packaging. So guys, I went on for the sake of the video, I went on and I cut some pumpkins out, the other pumpkins out as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these down to the pumpkin, to the big pumpkin. Well, I'm going to glue them down to the big pumpkin. Well, actually I can tape them. So guys, um, what I did was a long time ago, I purchased this peg stamp set from a flea market and like a thrift store rather. And I purchased it. I saw it. I thought it was so cool. As you can see, it has all the letters in here, even numbers and the little signs. And so it's what it is. It's just a peg stamper. And you just clip them together like this to make your words. And I made pumpkin. Okay. And so I just thought this was so cool. Um, it was made by a company called Pegs. P-E-G-Z. This is the 97 piece. And so I saw this at the market again. And I just had to have it. So I'm going to be using this today. I made the word pumpkin. And then also, I'm going to be using green. I'm going to be using green. So let's stamp this. And so what I'm going to do is stamp that right on my pumpkin set. Make sure I get it in a little like there. Now we gotta get the have to get the P in the middle. So pumpkin. Love it. Okay, and you're gonna see. You're going to see why I did that. And I love the little pegs because you can always go back, line it up right to get it centered. And it didn't clip in the middle because of the lift on the other one. So pumpkin, right? Love it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bling this out with the leaves and also the little cordage, twigs,
So we're gonna glue these down. The little cordage twigs. We're gonna glue those down. And this glue, the art glitter glue, dries clear so we don't have to worry about it messing up. We're going to do it like so. Because the way we're going to position the leaves. That's how that pumpkin is coming out so far, guys. And then we have our happy birthday already mm -hmm. cut out. So we're going to put that here on the top. So I want that to sit up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pop-up. Use these little foam adhesives. Okay, so we have that. Now for our pumpkin, first we, we, it's going to go here. Our pumpkin is going to go there. But also I'm going to take my Martha Stewart uh, balloon puncher and I'm going to punch out some balloons. And this was the paper again that I used from scrapbook.com, the metallic paper. So I've already cut out some balloons here. And I also used some of this paper here to incorporate in my bundle of balloons. Then I'm going to take some cordage from our die cut and I'm going to wrap some of it around the balloon to uh, to um, decorate it with string so it looked like string so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that around that 
but I'm gonna put some glue on here. Stack my balloons. And I wanna stack them first. Those are my balloons. And now I'm going to take some cartilage and put it around the balloon to create like a tie. See that little swirl there? I'm just going to hook it right onto the balloon. And then I'm going to wrap it to the back. Like so. I'm going to cut it. That's our tie. And then I'm going to take more of the cartilage and create it like some string for the balloon. So we're going to attach that to there. Create our string. Then I'm going to take some foam adhesive and put it on the back to create a pop up for the balloon. Then I'm going to pop the balloon on here, like so. Or should I put it up there? I'm going to put it, I'll put it up here, maybe. Should I put it there? I'm going to put it like that. And our pumpkin. It's going to go like so on here. So we're going to pop this up as well. Guys, if you hear something in the background, that's my autistic son. So please bear with me there. I'm going to go ahead and put that pop up here, the foam adhesive, put it on here. Okay, so now our pumpkin is positioned where it needs to be. Now I'm going to take some extra cordage and I'm going to stick it behind the pumpkin. And another cool thing about this, these die cuts is they give you confetti from the words, uh, the little pieces that fall out from the words once you die cut them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them around the card like confetti.
These came from, again, the happy birthday sign. bit more little dots. I just want to place it all around here. Just like little confetti. Just to add a little something. how we do that. And there we have it guys. Happy birthday pumpkin. I think that's so cute. You know the saying pumpkin when you say somebody's cute or hi little pumpkin or hi pumpkin. <laughs> people call people pumpkins. So I just thought that was cute. I thought that was a cute little saying. And it's a nice little fall card to give to someone. And it's just greeting. I mean, especially if someone's birthday is in fall. Why not let them celebrate both the season and their birthday? So happy birthday, pumpkin. I think that is so cute. So guys, that's my card for today. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more of my card making videos as well as other crafts that I will share on my channel. And guys, also I will, again, once I find the link to these die cuts, I will leave them in the description below. And also the happy birthday. I'll try to find out where I purchased that from. I can't remember, but if I pur purchased it from Timu, because Timu does sponsor some of my videos, I will leave the link to that as well in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, please make sure you subscribe subscribe like and stay tuned for my next video see you soon